Hello YouTube, we're designing another tool. I don't know if you can see this angle iron back here, but it comes out to the front here, okay? You might not be able to see it. Which will be the same piece over here, okay? And there will also be a piece this direction. Okay, just imagine I cut this out where the marker is. Okay, we want something to butt weld like rods together. We made longer like a 3 8 extension. We made it a foot long by taking a piece of rod, cutting a little 3 inch extension apart, and welding it together. Well, say you wanted to butt weld the rod together. Okay, the way it's going to clamp, we're still designing it. This is all on the fly. We're, we're still thinking here and we're filming because we know we're going to do it. Like I said. So, so you got like that, see, your rod, see when your rod was finished welding, I mean, that's how it would be laying in there. I think you get that. So, like I said, we're going to have the same thing, uh, like this, and this just helped weld it together flat. You know, so if that's flat over there, like here, when you put this piece of angle iron, it's going to be flat. I'm trying to make it the easiest way I can because I got so many scraps. And this way it hangs off the vise so there's a hole when I'm outside. That way when you're welding, you're, you're, there's nothing below there. There. I think you get the picture. And like I said, it'll be on another piece like this. So, I don't know if you can see that. How that's made. Okay, let's go cut all the pieces out. We'll get it fitted together. Now, this ain't perfectly straight. This is square. So, I found the square corner. We're going to start building off this side. Okay? And then if there's something overlaps, like, say over here, the metal hangs out a little bit. We'll just take the flapper disc that and smooth it. Because it does stick out. And it's not dimensional. These pieces are whatever. They're just going to get cut in half. Uh, they're just scraps. It does not matter. This is a certain distance here. Uh, just because that's what I wanted it. This hole is going to be like an inch and a half. Give me a couple inches on either side. So an inch and a half hole. I think we went in three quarter inch deep. Because it's like an inch and a half here. So we're cutting a nice big hole out. And this will never warp. You're never going to have no heat in here. See? Unless you were like torch welding or brazing. It, it, it's still not going to have no heat in there. Enough yak. I showed you that. Let's clean up some parts with the belt sander and flapper disc. And we'll be back. Okay. We're back with all our pretty parts. Remember that video I mentioned where I can use a ruler in this for a square? This is our squares corner, squares side. There's a little center punch mark up here. So I can build off this side. We start with 36 grit. Okay. That doesn't get in the corners greatest. But this takes all the grease, most of the mill scale off. Okay. And then we'll go to 60 grit. Which gets that more polished, super clean. And get through it almost all that. Because remember, we're MIG welding. We want clean metal. We're not going to acetone or lacquer in there. These. They're, they're clean enough to weld with the thing. So there we go. We're going to mock this up again. In fact, we're going to go back and rewind and look at the video clip before to make sure we're putting this together the way we designed it. Because the first thing we're going to do is cut that slot out of here. So we have to remeasure that. We'll be back when we got some parts ready to weld. Another quick tip. I cut this from the bottom. I had it marked up well. I cut it. See, I only cut down there so deep. That way I can break it out. That way you don't end up with them lines that extend past there. Here, I'll show you. That way you don't end up with lines. Ooh, that's warm. You don't end up with these lines up there on top that go past your square. Down here, it doesn't matter. I think you know what I mean. I think you got the idea. Let's get back to work. Okay, here's the mock up. Disregard this one. The angle iron's in wrong. You can tell. 
here's our idea. You want to butt weld two pieces of rod or some little square piece of metal or something together. And we are still in the process of designing their hold down right here. Okay, I'm taking a much needed mental break. And we'll get back to work. It's a pretty nice square hole. We'll file up and clean it up a little bit. Remember, this is tool. It ain't polished and perfect. Okay, we got half of this welded. Ain't that cool? See that reflection up in there? It makes it look like a full circle. That's a mirror. Just look. Watch my finger. See? Ooh. No, it's everything spot welded to whatever, to whatever. Uh... Nothing's real perfect. Here's what want. Here's what I want to be perfect. This. I told you this block was square. This has to be square, and I want it pretty with the hole. And I know somebody's gonna look at this and go, "Well, you could have just chopped out a piece of bang wire." Well, for those commenters, you show me how to do it. See that radius? There. Being snotty and sarcastic. Hey. It's my channel, it ain't fun, I don't want to do it. You know somebody's going to say it, but you could have just used a piece of angle iron and not. No, you can't. I don't have a mill or nothing. See that? You don't know what I'm going to put in this jig that has to be squared. I think you see enough. Look at that hole. You can't see it when you're working. Uh, everything where it's not lined up, where it's overlapped. Like here and stuff. Kind of makes it, this is all going to be sanded up and round the corners so you don't count yourself. So, there you go. We're going to set the oven up and do not ask me how. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't ask me how I clamped it. I didn't want to show you. I only used two clamps, but boy, it was a genius. Maybe I'll take a picture of this one. Okay, stay tuned for more. Okay, we have two fans going, so. Excuse me for that. I know this is rusty, but here's the idea. You really want to have that perfect. I mean, then you know there's nothing under there, right? So you can put it in here and clamp it. You can spot weld back here. And then you can flip this upside down and spot weld there or right on the top. You know, it might be something that you don't care if you see the weld on this side on the inside corner you might be making it look nice out here so you got that option and I noticed something speaking of the radius there on my last little rant that just fits in there perfect see because it's curved so this may be the side I use for round stuff I haven't decided to chop these off yet now these are too long, but I want to set on a table flat. It rocks a little bit, so I'm not a machinist. It's off just a very slight amount, and I'm not going to lie. It's my fault. You need to pay attention. When you put a straight edge across this whole thing, there's a little bitty gap here. Just a few thousand. I mean, you have to... I can't try to move this. You, you just can't. But it happens way back here. So up in here, it's straight. See what I mean? Like, you know, we put this block across here. You know, that thing's pretty straight. This is my gauge block, that's what I call it. Okay, let's clean it up. Then we'll be done with this video. Uh, the hold downs will leave for another video. My brain needs a break. So I'm going to go clean this up, round off any sharp corners, anything can poke and stab and jab you. And then we'll be back for our closing comments and whatever we do at the end. So break time right now. Okay, we are done for the day. We went ahead and painted it. Anything that's not used. I mean, we may use that for that wooden dowel. That way nothing rusts on it when it sets around. We're going to leave that long, these pieces, so it sets. So you can use it without a vise if you don't want to. And it's pretty solid. We'll find some way to add a ground to it for our grounding clamp. 
there you go. That's it. I took a picture just back behind here because it fits better there. But. First, we showed that before. Nice little jig. It's close enough to 90 degrees for me. So, thanks for watching.